Hi everyone, this is Kim from the Palo Alto Networks community team bringing you a new Palo Alto Networks video tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll cover a new feature that was introduced in PanOS 7.0, Global Find. So let's go to our firewall and check it out. So here's the problem that I'm sure a lot of people have experienced like how many times have you tried to find a particular address or a reference to an object you want to know uh, where it is exactly used in your firewall or you have an object that's deprecated and you want to make sure that it's purged from your firewall or your system so with this global find feature we offer a one-click search across the entire configuration uh, for just about anything you want it, if it's uh, in the XML config file, you can search for it. So we're talking about rules, objects, objects groups, profiles, uh, even thread IDs, port numbers. Um, and you can also search across uh, device groups. Um, so if you're doing a search uh, on Panorama, so it will uh, do or cover all the device groups that are configured on your Panorama or if you're doing a search on your firewall it will do a, a search across all the VCs should you have multiple VCs configured. So what we added in uh, PanOS 7.0 in the top right corner right here is the uh, search function which is the uh, global find you'll see it there pop up. So from there you can type in uh, if you click it you can type in just about anything and as you can see, it keeps a history or it keeps track of all your previous searches. Um, so let's uh, say, for example, uh, you have an old reference um, configured and you want to make sure it's, it's removed or no longer used in your firewall. So let's type in old. And then it immediately pops up uh, with all these subsection, subsections of where this reference is used in your firewall. So you can find it in the uh, anti-spyware, in the antivirus uh, application, uh, etc. So, and how does this look like? What does this look like? So you can uh, open this up, right, like, like so, and then basically hover over it to get additional details. So note that it is an exact match with it, which is not case sensitive. So anything matching old will pop up or will show up in your search result so in this case it probably would have been better if we uh, specified the search a little bit more because as you can see old is part of the word folder and it will show up as a search result because of that so let's do the dash OLD, which is an object I used uh, in my firewall in previous uh, tests. And as you can see, we have an antivirus uh, called test user profile old, uh, which is still used in a security rule lab test. So let's say I would like to get rid of this old uh, reference. So that is currently still being used in this rule. Just click that rule and it will immediately take me to the location of where it is used. So let's say, so it, it took me to the uh, security rule base where I'm able to immediately go and change the profile. So here you see that the antivirus profile is still using the old one so let's go ahead and add the new one there we go now if you repeat the same search now you will notice that the dash old reference is no longer used in my rule it is only used as a profile now as you can see, this makes it easy to find uh, what you are looking for and immediately make the changes you would like to do. Some details on this feature. So the search function is able to find an exact match or a contains match. 
So like you saw in the example earlier, also a partial word, word or a part of a word will be found. So the search won't be able to handle any typo you make, so there won't be any suggested values if you type a mistake. It's not predictive, uh, the search is not predictive, so it will not make any suggestions on a partial word like some uh, popular search engines do. Uh, the search is not case sensitive, so you will get the exact same result if you type in the word in lower or upper case. It uses the candidate configuration for searching. This means that you don't need to commit uh, to make an actual search. You saw that in the example I did earlier. So I made a change to a security rule and I did a search right after that and there was immediately a different result. Uh, it has a role-based access control. That means that if you have limited access to the firewall because of some uh, role-based user, then you might not be seeing the complete result. You will only see that where you have access to. The search can't find uh, any objects that are dynamic in nature. For example, some DHCP IP address. The search can't find the device object from Panorama. So if you're uh, executing the search from your Panorama and you are searching for a device local object, you won't find it. The search won't find an IP address within a subnet or a range. For example, if you have configured a range from 1.1.1.1 up to 1.1.1.100 and you search for 1.1.1.10, you will not find this. Instead, you need to look for 1.1.1.1. Similar if you're using a subnet in your configuration. Uh, if you have configured, for example, 1.1.1.0 slash 24, you will not find 1.1.1.10. You will need to look for 1.1.1.0 instead. Also note that this is a pure GUI feature, so there is no CLI and there is no XML API. That concludes this video on the Global Find feature. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them in the comments section below or feel free to reach out to us on the community portal. Thanks.